Now, the Samaritans were very much looked down upon by the Jews. They had a lot of disagreements, like where the proper place was to worship. The Jews obviously believed it was Jerusalem, and the Samaritans did not. The Samaritans were also half Jewish, half Gentile, and really the Jews wanted nothing to do with them, and vice versa. This Samaritan who finds this poor, beat-up person who just came from Jerusalem, all of a sudden, petty differences faded into the distance. And that Samaritan responds with compassion for what he sees. One thing I want to point out is unlike the other two men that came to the same situation, they moved to the other side. They avoided But with the Samaritan, when he saw him, it says he went to him. He engaged. And then what? He uses his own resources. He takes his oil. He takes wine. He cleans out the wound. He bandages it up with whatever he had. He takes the man and he sets him upon his own animal and then makes the journey to an inn investing his own time, going out of the way. And then he pays his own money for his stay. He stays with him and cares for him throughout the night. I mean, the sacrifice of his time, of his ability, and of his treasure is beautiful. The next day, he pays the host to care more for him and then he plans a follow-up return. I mean, this is Ministry 101. Serving, time, talent, and treasure, especially when it's hard. This is sacrifice, like what Jesus did for us. This is the heart of God on display. So invest your time, invest your talent and abilities, invest your treasure, your finances. And don't wait for someone else to do it, just like the Samaritan displayed for us. And may we all live out a life of eternal value 